Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather. The 10 14 days for today's uh, fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 19th of August. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Make one transfer of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 for September at the end of the video. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just save that first. The video is today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also released JMA Friday. Please check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. For Gals Weather Vids, thank you so much everyone. Right, going to start off with central temperature. We're seeing seeing has now gone under uh, 18 degrees. We're now sitting at 17.9. That is 2.1 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. That's provisional to yesterday, to the uh, 8th of August. So just under 18 Celsius, but about a couple of degrees above the 61 to 1990 average there. Very warm opening week to August. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at Exmouth today, suggested location for this part of the video. If you'd like to have your local town or city featured in this part of the video, we're always happy to do that. Just fire away in the comments and we will do our best to include that um, within the videos. <coughs> So, sorry everyone. Right, so, uh, starting off with the uh, situation at the moment. So, we're rather above average with the upper air temperatures right now, just a little bit. They are on the up though, and as we've been saying in the videos over the past several days, they've become very hot briefly through the uh, beginning of next week with a spike in the upper air temperatures there, taking uh, the upper air temperatures to 20 degrees uh, 850 HPA. After that, the upper air temperature is coming down quite quickly into the middle part of uh, next week. And then hovering close to the long-term 30-year average, although do see quite a bit of scatter, and you'll notice the thick green line, which is the GFS Midnight Operational Run, that takes off and it becomes one of the uh, warmest ensemble members as we go through the third week of uh, August there. Precipitation wise, quite a lot of dry weather to come over the uh, next two or three days. And then just gradually turning up more unsettled reading as we go into the middle and then into the second half of August. More in the way of the uh, rainfall spikes coming through then. So, not so next week, we'll see a transition, something cooler and uh, more unsettled. I think a bit of a question mark about how cool, how unsettled it gets to the southeast, but certainly in the north and the west anyway, it does look as though things will be cooler and more unsettled next week. Temperature anomalies from the 9th to the 17th of August above average for England and Wales and at near normal for Scotland and for Northern Ireland and the precipitation anomalies from the 9th to 17th of August round average precipitation, really wetter some western regions drier in uh, the south. Again, not particularly big deviation uh, either way, though, for rainfall. Latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows we're bringing a proper westerly through today. We've got uh, low pressure in the North Atlantic and a flat westerly flow being cooler and fresher air in from the west. Right, so let's start going through the all important chart data, starting off with the latest UK Met Euro run for uh, midnight on Monday. So, high pressure away to the east, low pressure out to west, drawing up this hot southerly southeast flow. Looks like temperatures will be peaking in the southeastern corner, probably around 33, 34 degrees, maybe, through uh, the start of uh, next week. It is pretty limited, I think, to the far south and southeast, northern and west regions will struggle to get this uh, heat through. That takes us really to Tuesday, so lower pressure then starting coming off the Atlantic, turning uh, cooler and more showering through the middle part of uh, next week. And we head up into the second half of next week to midnight next uh, Friday, 16th of August, with uh, lower pressure pushing through then, bringing uh, showering conditions across the country. And certainly a drop in the temperature looking uh, likely. <coughs> so, so again, everybody, ICOM. 
looks like this. High pressure away to the east, low pressure to west. Up comes that very warm to quite hot, southerly, southeastly flow for the early part of next week. Then a trough moving through into the middle of next week, bringing some showering conditions, heading into the second half next week. Rather flat, westy, high pressure south, low pressure to the north, winds coming in, coming in from a westerly direction. So up to next Friday midday, again, it looks rather showering. Most of showery conditions in the north of the west, less so down in the south, where it's probably reasonably dry and quite warm. This have a KMA is looking again. We've got high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north through the uh, middle second half of next week. Gradually introducing cooler and fresher air from off the Atlantic. Some sort of but uh, remains of a tropical storm and or hurricane appearing just there. That's the 18th of uh, August moving into the uh, North Atlantic. Got to keep an eye on that. KMA actually develops that into an area of uh, low pressure by 21st of August, keeping the unsettled pattern going. And um, then Miss South Jeffers Midnight Rose looking again. Got high pressure to the east, low pressure to the west. We're drawing up a very warm or hot southerly southeasterly flow for the early part of next week. Middle next week cuts off that southerly and we turn the wind into the west. <coughs> Excuse me once more, but he once again, rather showery to the northwest, mostly dry down in the south, though. Second half next week, so we get a trough, uh, a reach through on Thursday, bringing something a little bit drier and warmer, but that gets flattened off by Friday as we go cooler and showery again. And then into the second half next week, basically a north south split, higher pressure to the south, so some drier, warmer conditions there, cooler and more showery. Up into the north and into the extended range, high pressure coming back up from the south, turning things dry and warm for the south, but north again, or it's a little bit more unsettled. But GMS Midnight Run does have quite a lot of high pressure through that third week of August with uh, a fair amount of dry and warm weather to come then. And then the GFS 6 said in comparison brings up this very warm to hot southerly southeasterly flow. On Monday, we cut that off in the middle part of next week. Turn things a bit cooler and fresher. Second half of next week into a west northwesterly flow. Showers in the north and west, probably mostly dry though, down in the south. Second half of next week, dry and relatively warm in the south, a little bit more mixed up in the north. And uh, as we head on into the extended range, well, the Jeffers 6 said also building up quite a lot of high pressure, turning things mostly dry, warm, or very warm there. Through the third week of August, winds pushing into more of a southerly, southeasterly flow then. So uh, a lot of dry and uh, quite warm weather on both the GFS uh, midnight and 6 Z runs in the extended range. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. So if you want to do that, why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about gals, whether it's get them to subscribe to so much for doing that, everyone. Okay, GM, once again, we'll bring up this southerly flow on Monday, looking hot, particularly in the south and on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Start to cut off that uh, southerly flow, gradually cooling things down through the middle part of next week. Second half of next week was a bit mixed with low pressure away to the northwest, high pressure to the southwest, rather westerly, with some sort of showery trough moving through. And cooler and rather showery as we go uh, up towards days 8, 9 and 10. Winds in from the west, so a little bit showery in the north, mostly dry in the south. Again, watch out for this feature here. That's the remnants of a tropical storm and or hurricane moving into the north Atlantic. And then the ECM rounding it all off, high pressure away to the east, low pressure to west on Monday, drawing up that very warm to hot southerly southeasterly flow. We switch that round to more of a westerly through to Tuesday, turning things rather showery and a little bit cooler through the middle part of next week. That's set up by midday on Thursday, low pressure to north, high pressure to the south, rather flat and westerly, then rather showery and a little bit of cool side. And uh, that continues up to day 10, um, looking rather mixed with the ECM. Uh, so quite a lot of uncertainty here, isn't there, within the model output in the day's sort of 8, 9, 10 time frame and beyond it. Again, you will notice far 
left-hand corner of the chart, some sort of uh, travel storm and or hurricane moving into the uh, North Atlantic there. So once again, we need to keep an eye on what happens with that vigorous uh, system moving up into the far north of the United States. It's actually off the east coast of America there. <coughs> So, so again, everyone, right, this is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometcho.com. Showery in the north and the west over the next few days, otherwise mostly dry in the south and the east. Into the beginning of next week, could be a fungi breakdown in the uh, northern half of the country, but the south should be having quite a lot of dry weather. So, uh, again, it was a pretty muted and subdued fungi breakdown for the south, but uh, in the north there could be some uh, storms through northern England and Scotland, uh, or maybe some long spells of fungi rain. Once the cool down takes place in the middle part of next week, then we're into like a showering regime, pushing these uh, troughs of low pressure in from the west, bringing showering uh, conditions in with them. That's how we look as we get to the end of the. Um, East Shemra, and again, looks a bit mixed rather than settled down in the south. That gets to day 10, 19th of August. Remember, other ones aren't quite as unsettled as that, though, at uh, day 10. These are the options on the table within the East Shem ensemble today for day 10 from, from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 19th of August. 14 members of the East Shem ensembles with low pressure in from the Atlantic into Western Europe, looking rather cool and unsettled town with low pressure to the north high pressure to the south winds coming in from a westerly uh, direction with that we've got nine with low pressure to the northeast again looking rather cool and showery we've got eight with low pressure right over top of the country rather cool and showery there we've got six with low pressure again over to the north country that was rather cool and showery and we've got four with low pressure through the west of Europe. Again, that does look rather cool. And a little bit on the unsettled side. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 24th of August. 12 members of the East Shem ensembles again. With low pressure through the north and the west of Europe. Looking rather cool and unsettled. 10 with a ridge to the southwest. Top to the northeast. That looks a little bit on the uh, cool and showy side as well. We've got 9 with high pressure to the east and south, we slow pressure to the west and northwest. We bring up the wind from some of the southwesterly direction. That will bring quite warm weather in with it. Number nine, for low pressure over to the east of the country. It's looking rather cool and showery. We've got eight with uh, low pressure over and to the west. Again, a little bit on the cool, showery side of that. And then we've got three, three with high pressure to the north east chop through the UK and Ireland again that could be a little bit on the mixed side um, but probably quite warm with that we could well be drawing up wind from like more of a southerly type direction so that will bring some quite warm weather up from uh, the south there uh, right and then the surface be two for September uh, latest 700 millibar height anomaly idea looks like this. Remember, the charts do change daily. So um, we see the latest idea, a little bit complicated. You've got high pressure down to south and southwest, sending some sort of a ridge into the west of Europe. Low pressure is towards um, Greenland in the North Atlantic. Jetstream probably doing something uh, a little bit like that. Temperature anomalies are about average, no better than average, really, near normal, and uh, or no signal, and not much of a signal for presentation either. I'm not really sure about that. I think it's not a very strange anomaly, and uh, I'm you know not sure CFS maybe has all that much of an idea <laughs> for September. It is one of the more complicated months to forecast for. What I do notice is quite a bit of high pressure down here through the uh, tropical and subtropical Atlantic, which isn't what we're expecting. We're actually expecting quite a big sort of hurricane season with quite a lot of activity in September through there. So, again, I would take that with a large picture of salt. I'm not sure CFS really has much of a clue when it comes to September at the moment, but we shall see, and as ever, time will tell. 
Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worries. Get them to subscribe to. And thank you so much for doing that. I'll just say what's happening on my channel tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to have a 6am UK weather forecast. There will be the ECM WF um, 42 day forecast. Hopefully, before all these holes out tonight. Uh, we get forecast and a 10 to 14 day. Out. Keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.